Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Coffee Chug and we are here to unbox the Microbit Go package. And so I've received this and I just want to show you what comes when you purchase your very own Microbit package. This is not the deluxe or anything fancy, the nice simple one, but the possibilities are truly unlimited. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, when you see here in the middle, um, it gets you right away, tells you how to get going, how to meet your micro bit there. So it's going to tell you how to power it up with your battery pack. Just some really quick, simple things. So basically, you can code your lights, code it, download it, and away you go. Um, it comes with a really easy set of instructions. I think the key thing that I like about micro bit is just how easy it is. Like the, the learning curve to get started is so minimal. Um, but you can really do some advanced work. And so it just basically shows you how to get set up, what to do to get coding, and then basically right here, the eight steps on how to go from start to finish. The beauty about Microbit is you can use the block editor and the make code, you can use JavaScript, and you can use Python, which is what I'm really excited about. So really simple instructions. Obviously here is just the safety guide, the necessary paperwork so they don't get sued. But when you get inside here, um, we go to rock and roll. So it tells you to open up and start playing with the spin, shake, and navigate options, the 25 indiv individually programmable lights, two functional buttons, the three connecting rings, and Bluetooth. And so this is the micro bit right here. And so as we open this up, this is what you're going to get. If you've never seen the micro bit, it's really small. And so, um, I have a post-it notepad, standard post-it notepad. This kind of gives you an idea of the size. Um, but don't let it fool you. What you have here in this grid, this matrix right here, are 25 individually programmable LEDs to make shapes and faces and all sorts of things. You've got two programmable buttons right here, so you can actually turn this into a video game. Um, you've got down here your three analog or digital pins. You can use the alligator clips. Um, your power, your 3 volt power there, and your ground. You also have Bluetooth connection in here. It's just kind of built into to the framework here a little bit. Um, on this back side, you have, this is your the processor. Uh, well, actually, the processor is right here, excuse me. Um, we've got down here another button for the, like, the kind of the reset. We've got our adapter here for to be able to download a program, battery connector, uh, we also have on here light and temperature sensors, which is really exciting. You have an accelerometer and a compass, and so that works really well, especially if you're doing stuff with Minecraft. Um, and you can also use wireless communication. We talked about with the Bluetooth, but also radio. So there is so much packed into this little tiny guy. Um, it's really, really... Um, I always think it's like it's kind of underwhelming. Like you look at it and go, oh, that's a micro bit. But there's so much here that it's just insane. Um, in terms of the rest of the box, once you take this out, um, it comes with the battery, your USB cable to plug it in, and then your battery pack. So you don't always have to be tethered um, to a device or a computer. So that is the unboxing. Very short, simple, and sweet. But now more importantly, it's time to jump into some basic coding and getting started with the setup.